In the village of Bhikki Wind near the India-Pakistan border in Punjab, Pakistanis are feeling the effects of heavy monsoon rains in India. On the edge of the Satluj River, a string of orange flags marks the road along flooded fields. Engine-powered rescue boats are the only mode of transportation on the river that rose to almost 15 meters from the usual 9 to 11 meters. I have come to take my granddaughters back. They were among the evacuated. Although this area received heavy rains, the Satluj swelled on the Pakistani side, largely from excess water India released this month as the monsoon battered its northern states. The river is shared between the rival neighbors through a 1960 treaty. As locals cannot safely use their own boats in the high and fast-moving water, rescue boats run several times a day to transport people and livestock. Across the river in the village of Gatikalanjar, water damage to the crops is visible. It's as if Heavy monsoon rains are becoming frequent in both India and Pakistan. As experts say, the region experiences the effects of climate change. The timing of the flooding in Sutlej, the worst since 1988, is unusual. Normally, the flood situation arises in August, September, or October, but this time it came in July. For us, this was very unusual. We were not expecting this. We couldn't imagine, despite rains, that we would get this much water. To save precious lives and resources, observers say villages should be moved away from areas that fall in the riverbed. But it's not so simple. The land was allotted more than seven decades ago when India gained independence from British rule and Pakistan was created. We will live and die here. Here. We don't have land anywhere else. We can't go anywhere. For now, most of those evacuated have returned and migrants are resuming work. But as monsoon rains continue to drench India and Pakistan, the fate of citizens on both sides of the Sutlej River remains connected. Sara Zaman, VOA News, Bhikki Vind, Punjab, Pakistan.